This chapter deals with the situation where government wants to reduce the trade deficit and asks which policy combinations there could be in order to achieve this goal. So this makes clear that also in case of an open economy, a country has different policies at its disposal with which it can achieve certain goals. Suppose a country has a trade deficit that the government wants to eliminate. But, and that's uh, kind of the condition, the economy should be prevented from overheating, say, because the government uh, is afraid of inflation or uh, whatever. So the question is then, which policy makes could achieve such a result? We start again with our diagram for the goods market in an open economy. We have demand on the vertical axis, production income on the horizontal axis. We have uh, the 45 degree line uh, where um, demand is equal to supply and we have the ZZ curve that intersects the 45 degree curve at the market equilibrium. Now this is drawn in a way that net exports are negative at equilibrium so the country has a trade deficit. Now what can such a country do in order to reduce the trade deficit? Well, provided that the Marshall Learner condition is fulfilled, the country could devalue its currency, as we've seen in the previous chapter, in order to increase net exports from NX to NX prime, basically. So in this case, if nothing else would change and if there were no other second round effects, the uh, trade balance would um, be zero, so there would not be a trade deficit anymore. However, the problem is, of course, that other things are happening, particularly if there is such an increase in net exports, then also the ZZ curve would shift upwards. So incomes would rise, there would be a new equilibrium, a multiplier effect would set in, and so on and so forth. So incomes would rise, and in such an equilibrium, there would again be a trade deficit. What the government can do to sterilize this effect, basically, is to reduce governmental spending on consumption to an extent that the ZZ curve shifts back to the old ZZ line that we had before. In this situation, we would see that the equilibrium at the goods market is again the initial equilibrium we had, but now with a trade balance of zero, so there is no trade deficit anymore. So the policy mix, the policy combination to achieve this goal of eliminating the trade deficit is to have a devaluation of the currency first. If the um, Marshall Learner condition holds, this reduces the trade deficit, but there would be additional effects on income and therefore imports so that the trade deficit would emerge again. But the government can counteract this by reducing uh, G, government consumption, and basically the government could um, shift, uh, or could change G to such an extent that the shift in the ZZ curve is completely sterilized, such that the old equilibrium in the goods market would prevail at the old level of demand and income. And at that point, however, the trade deficit would be eliminated.